Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks to Pandy, I'm talking to you about how much clothes should I bring to study abroad in Tokyo. So, let's just jump right into it, right? So, um, for me, um, studying abroad out here, Lake University of Japan, in uh, Shinjuku, and again, for me, I brought a lot more than I really needed. So, I brought about three weeks, yeah, three weeks worth of the clothes and a bunch of other stuff, which I ended up having to get rid of actually um, due to weight restrictions. So again, depending on your flight, you might have to uh, um, size out your bags accordingly because uh, for me, there were weight restrictions involved with that. So I had to get rid of a lot of stuff that I packed. So a lot of electronics, uh, my suit, I had to throw out my suit. And I'm a little, mm, a little mad about that. Not gonna lie, um, but I'd throw out my suit, a bunch of other stuff, and uh, things like that. So I came here with about three weeks worth of clothing, um, two pairs of shoes, and some sandals for like inside footwear, which is another thing you should uh, be wary or at least know about. Um, now, if you're like teaching or whatever, and you need like proper inside footwear, not just slippers. I uh, would recommend getting uh, some shoes, preferably in your home country, because um, if you're above a size 10 American, um, that's like a size 28, 28 centimeters out here in Japan. So if you're above that, you'll definitely <laughs> be uh, limited in your choices, and it's going to be hard to uh, find something out in town. As uh, I found out, being a size 11 American, which would be a size 29 centimeters in Japan. And just a little two size difference made all the difference when it came to finding footwear. I remember back when I was stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan, in Kanagawa Prefecture, many moons ago, I tried finding hiking boots because ironically, uh, when I was gonna go climb, climb Mount Fuji, I couldn't find any like hiking boots at the necks. Which is ironic, right? Because they have like, regular uniform boots and all kinds of other stuff, but as far as like regular ye olde basic hiking boots or whatever, they didn't have that. So I had to go out in town and went to a place called ABC Mart, uh, for those of you wondering, of which they do have a pretty nice collection of shoes now, and you can buy them online and you can go through like Amazon Japan and stuff like that. So it's not impossible to find shoes if you're above a size 28 centimeters, size 10 in America. Um, but you are going to have to be a little more um, studious, or you have to research a bit more to uh, find places that will uh, accommodate your uh, clod hopper frickin' feats. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. And uh, in addition to that, I also brought uh, some electronics like my laptop, camera, and a bunch of other doodads and things like that. That's the basic gist of it. And really, if I had to do it over again, uh, clothes-wise, probably would have packed about two weeks' worth of clothes instead of three. But, uh, you know, kind of is what it is. So, yeah. <laughs> and with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sign. It's not for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. And so if you have any questions about studying abroad in Tokyo, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the booby boops and I will do my best to answer them. So look forward to reading your comments. <laughs> All right. Bye guys.